Hi everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and on today's episode, I'm so excited to share with you our borscht recipe. This is one of our family's favorite soups. It's flavor packed and so good for you. It's best to have all of the ingredients prepped and ready to go, which makes this soup super easy and carefree. Peel and slice your potatoes into bite-sized pieces, then transfer them to a bowl of cold water to keep them from discoloring. Next, finely chop two ribs of celery, then finely dice one medium onion. And if you have any great tips for chopping an onion without the tearing effect, please let me know in a comment below. Now finely chop one small red bell pepper, and you can omit it if bell peppers don't agree with you, but they do add great flavor. Peel and thinly slice two medium carrots, then on to our final bit of prep with the beets. I always recommend using gloves when handling beets so it doesn't stain your fingertips red. Slice off the ends and use a regular potato peeler to peel off the skins. You can slice the beets by hand into matchsticks, but it's so much easier to use a food processor with a grater attachment. This way it just grates the beets up super fast and keeps your hands and workstation clean. Place a large pot or Dutch oven over medium high heat and add two tablespoons of olive oil. Then add the grated beets and saute for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally until the beets are softened. Now add four cups of low sodium chicken broth and six cups of water. Drain your potatoes and add them to the pot, then add sliced carrots. Bring that to a low boil and continue cooking for 10 to 15 minutes or just until the potatoes are easily pierced with a fork. While the potatoes are cooking, place a large skillet over medium high heat and add two tablespoons of oil. Add the chopped onion, celery, and bell pepper and saute stirring occasionally until softened and lightly golden or about seven to eight minutes. Then add four tablespoons of ketchup and stir fry for about 30 seconds. Then transfer to the soup pot and continue cooking with the potatoes. Once the potatoes and carrots reach their desired doneness, add one can of beans with their juice. Now we add all the wonderful flavorings. We have two bay leaves, two to three tablespoons of white vinegar or to taste, a teaspoon of sea salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, then press in one large garlic clove and add three tablespoons of freshly chopped dill. Let that simmer for another two to three minutes, then add more salt and or vinegar to taste. Oh my goodness. Uh, this brings back so many sweet memories of my mom cooking in the kitchen and she made the best borscht. And I learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do the taste test because I am so hungry. All right, so while it's nice and hot, we're ready to serve. Wow, and the color is just so beautiful and striking. This borscht is flavor packed and it's also so good for you. Tons of veggies and protein with the beans. It's delicious. <laughs> okay. And to serve it, I always add a big dollop of sour cream or you can use mayo if you're feeling like you need a few extra calories in your life. But seriously though, mayo is really good. So you should try it sometime. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna use sour cream today. Nice, generous dollop. And garnish with a little more fresh dill. It's so pretty. All right, and I'm gonna pick up this bowl because the last thing you want on your clothes is beet juice. That can be a booger to get out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That right there, my friends, is old school comfort food. And it seriously tastes just like my mom's. <laughs> and the best part is my kids love this. 
and it's so good for you. It's loaded with tons of veggies. The beets are a great source of iron. Then you get a little protein with the beans and then everything else. <laughs> this is delicious. Such an impressive soup to serve for a party, especially if your friends have never tried this before. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, and so good. And when I serve this, I love to make these little French baguette toasts. I basically just slice up a French baguette, butter both sides, and saute it on a skillet, and it gets like this crispy, crunchy. You heard that. <laughs> My family fights over these, um, so I always serve this with borscht. Let me know which camp you're on. If you guys love sour cream or mayo, let me know in the comments below. And I hope this becomes a new favorite for your family. If you like this video, give us a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Hey, before you go, if there are any recipes you'd like to see on our channel, let me know in a comment below. And if you love more easy soup recipes, check out some of our favorites right over here. And click below to subscribe, and when you do, click that little bell icon, and you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you next time.